first module okay and which we'll be learning about belt and rope drives okay so belt and rope drives uh, you might have noticed in uh, many of the machines uh, even you have worked with the lathe right you might have noticed how the the power is being transferred from the motor to a uh, machine okay so in especially in the lathe and even you have noticed the power uh, in uh, uh, chain drives, belt drives, rope drives. Okay, so these are the things you might have noticed. So based on that, we will be learning about. Okay, coming to the numericals, uh, select a V belt drive to transmit a 10 kilowatts of power from a pulley of 200 millimeter diameter mounted on an electric motor running at 720 rpm to another pulley mounted on compressor running at 200 rpm the service is uh, heavy duty varying from 10 hours to 14 hours per day and the center distance between the center of pulley is 600 millimeters so this is the problem I note down the data so we have uh, uh, a power of uh, 10 kilowatts uh, and diameter uh, d1 is 200 millimeters or small d a speed of that uh, smaller pulley is uh, 720 rpm nothing but n1 so uh, speed of the larger pulley n2 is 200 rpm distance between the two pulleys is uh, center distance nothing but c 600 millimeter and it runs for heavy duty of 10 hours to 14 hours per day so first we will find out the diameter of the larger pulley so for that we need to uh, know the equation n1 by n2 is equal to d2 by d1 or you can calculate uh, n1 d1 is equal to n2 d2 so you can calculate the diameter of the larger pulley capital D is equal to uh, 720 uh, millimeters this is how we can calculate so uh, now we need to find out the equivalent pitch diameter of the smaller pulley de for that we have to select the cross section of the belt okay d e is equal to d into f b where uh, d p is equal to d1 is equal to 200 millimeters okay so we know that n1 by n2 so n1 is 720 n2 is 300 so we have ratio of uh, velocity ratio 3.6 and we know that uh, uh, f b okay so we can calculate that so d p we know is 200 now we can just substitute the values okay and uh, you can calculate de is equal to uh, 200 into 1.14 where uh, factor for the smaller diameter roughly is uh, is 1.14 okay so this is what you can get it from the table and finally we arrive at the diameter of the uh, pitch diameter of the smaller pulley d is equal to 228 millimeter Coming to the velocity calculation, so V is equal to pi D1 N1 by 60,000 pi into D1 is 200, N1 is 720. So if you can substitute the values, we get 7.54 meter per second. Similarly, you can calculate the power capacity for C cross-sectional belt. So you can use the equation N is equal to V into 1.47 divided by V into 0 0.09 minus 143.27 divided by DE minus 2.34 v square divided by 10 to the power 4 so substitute the values of de v and everything uh, we get the power capacity uh, of 4.4 kilowatts coming to the uh, number of belt calculation i or n dash is equal to p k s divided by k w k l divided by k a these are the uh, compensative factors that we need to uh, understood and if you can see with the k sub x s using the FOPE that we have used uh, k sub x l uh, load factors okay k sub x a is fd okay dynamic factors so these are the factors we need to consider in order to calculate that we need to calculate the length of the belt 
uh, for that uh, we calculate uh, f of e is equal to 1.3 uh, that is from the 10 to 14 hours a day correction factor for the service so you can uh, calculate length of the period to see l is equal to 2c plus pi divided by 2 pi d plus d plus uh, d minus d whole square divided by 4c now you can substitute all the values of capital d and small d you get uh, 2757.8 millimeters or nothing but 2.7 uh, meters uh, length of the belt okay so coming to the table 14.17 so we calculated uh, the nearest uh, value standard value of the belt uh, for the c cross section uh, yeah, is 2703 so we can get it from the table 14.17 so if you can refer that uh, we get a nominal inside diameter uh, i mean the inside length of the belt as 2667 millimeters uh, nominal uh, inside uh, length is uh, 2667 and for the cross-sectional uh, C belt from table 14.27, we get uh, correction factor for the length is K sub X L is equal to F C is equal to 0.94. So this is the value we get. Okay. So we can calculate the angle of wrap for this belt. Okay. So that is from the theta is equal to 2 cos inverse capital D minus small d divided by 2 C. So if you substitute the values of D and uh, small d you get uh, 28.64 okay this is the value you get from the theta okay so coming to the number of bells uh, i or n dash uh, we know the values of kl k f k a and uh, kw and ks so kw is uh, nothing but uh, power so if you can substitute the values uh, taking uh, fd is equal to Ft is nothing but Ka is equal to 0.86. Now the number of belts comes out to be 3.655. Our number of belts is uh, next uh, number is 4 after 3.6. So this is how you calculate the number of belts in the V belt rank. Coming to the correct center distance calculation, we have equations is equal to L divided by 4 minus pi into d plus d divided by 8 plus root of L by 4 minus pi into d plus d by 8 whole square minus d minus d whole square by 8 if you substitute all the values of the capital d small d and all you get correct center distance is equal to pi 80.73 millimeters so this is what you get so for the selected v belt uh, c is equal to 2667 uh, if you can refer the table 14.14 we get a width is equal to 22 and thickness of the belt uh, is 14 mm. This is how you select the uh, specification of the belt as well as width and thickness of the belt as well as the number of belts required. So this is how the problem is done with the, uh, this uh, data given.